my god. Hey guys, welcome back to another Red Beard Outdoors episode. Today, we're going to be installing this DZ gas strut to my tailgate. For some reason, Dodge does not have a dampening tailgate. At least for my 2018 3500. I don't know why they did this. Um, I think Ford does it also, but my uh, old Sierra I had back in 2014 had a dampening tailgate. And so I'm just really surprised that an expensive truck would not have a dampening tailgate. But there is an easy fix for this. It's about 30 some dollars, depending on where you buy it from and it should turn this into a dampening tailgate so today i'm gonna open this up and i'm going to show you how to install this onto your tailgate so let's get started real quick before we get started i got my uh, fifth wheel covers installed um, those are the factory covers that came with the truck. They were never put on for some reason. So I got those on there now All right, let's get started by opening this It's got a nice little opening feature Here's your gas strut So we got some thread lock here, we have a cable clip, a wrench, star wrench tool that comes with it. This is a nut insert tool, you're going to be inserting this little gold piece into the bed of the truck, I'll show you that here in a little bit. Then you have your mounting bracket plate right here that the shock's going to mount to like so. And you also have a screw. Step one, we need to measure that this is three quarters of an inch. It pretty much came out of the package that way. All right, first we're gonna use this nut insert to put into this hole. And you're gonna need an M5 Allen wrench and a 10 millimeter wrench and you're going to make nine 360 degree rotations on the bolt and the m5 wrench does not move so you're going to hold that in place and turn the 10 millimeter wrench so let's get started i'm going to start by hammering this in all right she's in So I can only make quarter turns on this. So I'm gonna have to make four quarter turns per one full turn. So right there, I just did one turn. So now I got a lot more to go here. All right, guys, we got that on there. Next, this bracket's gonna go right here, like so. And you're gonna need a four millimeter Allen wrench to screw this into it. And we need to put some thread lock on this screw right here. So let's get that going. Okay, I put my Allen wrench on the screw right here. That way I can easily put it in. And you cut the tip off of your Loctite uh, container here and just apply 
one line. That Loctite container is pretty hard to squeeze. Now let's get that screwed in. So guys, I don't have a torque wrench. It says to torque it to uh, eight foot pounds of torque, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna get it pretty snug and try not to over tighten it. It's kind of a good firm feeling and about right there. You got that Loctite on there, so it should uh, help keep that in place. Okay, next we're gonna remove this bolt right here with the wrench that the set came with. Okay, next we gotta remove the the cable from the bolt. There's a little metal clip right here. You just need to pry that out of the way and slide the bolt down past it like so. Get that free. Next you're going to put your bolt back in with this bracket on there like so. Again, I went about made it pretty snug I didn't over torque it we got this reinstalled now we're gonna we're gonna put our cable back on there like so okay next they say to remove this rubber block but I have also seen a lot of people keep those on there so I'm gonna start with leaving it on there and if I need to take it off later I will Next up, we need to flatten this limiter right here. And I loosened mine just a little bit because I think it'll give me a little bit more play on it. But I'm just going to uh, use this and flatten it down with a hammer. flattened down right here got that limiter out of the way okay next we're going to measure down three and a half inches and put our tailgate clamp on you want this angle piece towards the top you are going to have to use pliers to get that onto the cable as you saw me do I'm going to go ahead and mount the shock get the uh, big side of the strut that mounts to this ball like so and then you're gonna have to pull this one out some that to the bottom she's installed I'm gonna do a slow test on this I'm gonna find out if this rubber piece is in the way or not so let me slowly raise this up she is definitely in the way so we got to get that rubber stop off right here so let me get to work on that
I ended up ripping the, well, I didn't really rip it. I ended up pulling the rubber off of that screw and I pushed the screw all the way in because I could not get it out. The screw easily stripped out. And so I don't know what the deal was with that. Um, leave a comment down below if you guys had the same issue, but it's pushed in, it's not hitting. I just checked it and the rubber stops out of the way. So, um, and it's not really popping out after I pushed it in. So it's pushed in out of the way. I could not for the life of me get it, that screw pulled out. So that's why I ended up pushing it in. So let's wash this thing shut again. There you guys have it. That's how you install your DZ Easy Assist tailgate gas strut. Leave a comment down below if you had any issues like I mentioned before, and that's gonna do it for me today. If you're new to the channel, please help me out by subscribing. Like this video if it was helpful, and I will see you guys on the next Red Beard Outdoors episode. Remember, get outside and keep working on your truck. I'll catch you guys later.